Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you what uh, milk replacer I'm using to help supplement um, the little tiny baby we got that I've started calling Stuart Little. Um, and a lot of you have responded to those pictures and so I thought maybe this would be of interest to you. Um, he was the first one born. When he was born, I had a package scheduled for delivery that contained milk replacer. Well, because we had a big old winter storm here, um, that ended up being delayed as they were born. So I actually ordered the formula on the left from Tractor Supply, and I used that for the first day and a half until the foster care came in. Now, the first couple litters I, I've had, I've had the foster care on hand, and I didn't need it and it ended up expiring so I threw it away and I went this time around I paid for expedited shipping try to get everything here faster I was gonna combine my order with somebody else's order and then that didn't end up happening it didn't end up working out so I ended up placing my own order paid for expedited shipping and then the snowstorm happened and then she had her puppies on day 61 instead of day 63 like she has in the past so I ended up ordering this Esbalac, um, st the stuff you see on the left from Tractor Supply, and I had a neighbor go and get it for me while she was still delivering puppies. So I figured he was really small, I was worried about him, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Um, he's a feisty little guy, but he gets knocked off a lot, and so I try I've been trying to give him extra time with mom, but I've also been supplementing him to give him a little bit of extra calories. Um, so the difference between the one on the left and the foster care is actually quite significant to me and apparently to him as well. Um, you do both one part water, or sorry, one part powder to two parts water for each one. The foster care has more calories per tablespoon. It has slightly lower protein but a lot higher fat. And it also contains vitamins A, D, E, calcium, and phosphorus are all listed on the label of ingredients. And the price was actually $10 cheaper for the same amount of powder. Now, how this has worked out for him, the first, like I said, the first day and a half, he's had the one on the left. And I had originally tried that bottle that is also on the left. He did not eat well. He does not like to eat that. And the second I tried, I got the foster care in my hands and I tried that. And I got the miracle nipples as well. He will eat a lot. He will actually eat about three milliliters in a feeding. Plus what he's getting from mama. So those have really helped. Um, I don't think I'm even going to try to do the bottle again. It's not worth it. I'm just going to toss it out and I will continue to buy these miracle nipples and keep these on hand because they have been worked really well for him and when he doesn't finish what I've dosed up in the syringe I've been giving it to a couple of the other smaller ones just to use what's in the syringe and they have all taken to that syringe and that um, miracle nipple really well and they also love um, across the board they love the foster care more it even smells better to me like when I open the containers the foster care smells like a milk protein powder supplement and it's just it mixes better and the puppies like it better so that's what we're doing right now and what I'm doing right now I'm a one-man band now so <laughs> Doing this on my own, that's okay. Um, so yeah, foster care hands down. If you need it and you can get it, that is would be my go-to right now every time over this one that you can get anywhere. But that said, if you need milk replacer and you don't have it and you need it like today, that one is a good one to go out and buy. Because, I mean, they do eat it. They just don't like it as much as the foster care. But that's all for now. Bye.